Hey guys, Move Motion Graphics here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to create this distorted liquid effect recently popularized by Mishko. So, scene creation. So, this set of guide will show you how I set up the whole scene, including the use of echo and alpha mats. So, right now I'm just creating a new scene, file, new, new project, and new composition. So, first up, what you want to do is make a new solid and make it the background color that you want and then make a new text layer on top of it and you want to duplicate the text layer and put it below and so now what you want to do is to mask out just the bottom part of the text and search for this effect called Echo and apply it to the layer that you must out. So right now you want to play around with the parameters but don't worry about it too much because you can still come back later to edit it again. So to review the changes that Echo made to your layer, just apply a keyframe at the first second and the start of the scene and shift the layer downwards and when you go back to the first second mark, you should see this trail of echo behind it. So this will provide us the basis of the distorted liquid, and we'll use this as an alpha mat to get the gradient on top of our text. So what you want to do is duplicate another layer of the text, and make a new solid on top of the text. We're going to search for this effect called four color gradient to provide us the color for the gradient. And now we'll go to track mat and select alpha mat. So now the other effect that you want to use is Turbulent Displace. It's quite self-explanatory, so I'll skip the explanation for this part. So right now, we'll just create a small mask to show the part of the layer that we want. So right now what we're going to do is make a new adjustment layer on top of the whole thing to add radial blur so that we have this illusion that it's flowing down from the top to the bottom. So at this part, I'll just be adding a few more effects to make the whole thing look more composited. So we want to search for Turbulent Displace and Wave Warp.
as for the final post processes, you just want to add a glow and the VR digital glitch. And that's about it for the setting up of the whole scene. So now we'll proceed to the animation of the whole text. So the way to animate this is fairly simple. So you just want to link everything up to a whole now layer or just one layer in particular. And you just shift the one layer. Since this effect is controlled by echo, you can just shift it anywhere and the animation will be automatic. And there you have it. This is the text animation inspired by Mishko. And if you guys want more content like this, just don't forget to comment down in the comment section below and I'll get back to y'all ASAP. See ya.